In this video, we'll walk you through the process of setting up the WhatsApp Business API for WhatsApp 4 Dynamics. This guide is broken down into three parts. Our first step is to set up WhatsApp API. To begin, log into developers.facebook.com and navigate to my apps in the top right corner. Here we will create an app. To do so, click on the Create App button. Over here, scroll down and select the other option that's related to WhatsApp. And choose Business, as we're setting up the WhatsApp Business API. Provide an app name, your email ID, and select the Business Manager account as per your preference. This opens up the app dashboard. Now, scroll down to WhatsApp, click on Setup, and then proceed by clicking on Start using the API. Here, you'll find various credentials that will be necessary going forward. Remember not to close this tab as we'll need it for the next steps during configuration for Dynamics 365 CRM. To do so, log into your Dynamics 365 CRM and go to Apps menu. Select and open WhatsApp for Dynamics. Navigate to Configuration under Administration. Click on plus new to create a new configuration for the WhatsApp Business API. Add a name for the configuration. Then select WhatsApp Business API as the messaging platform to open up the WhatsApp Business API details instead of the default Twilio details and Dynamics CRM as the media storage platform. This ensures that every attachment sent through WhatsApp is stored in Dynamics 365 CRM. For the mobile number, Switch back and copy and paste the test number for testing purposes. Once the testing is done, make sure you add your business mobile number here. Make sure you remove the spaces between the numbers to avoid any error. Now scroll up to WhatsApp Business API details to fill in the mentioned fields. To get these details, switch back to the Meta tab, open the App Settings dropdown, and click on Basic. You'll find your App ID and App Secret here, Copy the app ID and paste it here. Now go back and click on show to make the secret key visible. Copy and paste it here. Now to get your phone number ID, go back to API setup on the meta tab. Copy the phone number ID under test number and paste it in phone number ID field. Next, to find the WABA ID, switch back and look for the WhatsApp business account ID located beside the phone number ID. Copy and paste it. Now we will generate a permanent token. To do so, switch back and open the app dashboard. From the shortcuts, select Business Settings. Under System Users, select Generate Token. From the dropdown, find and select the app you had created previously. As we are generating a permanent token, set the expiry to Never. Under Permissions, enable WhatsApp Business Management and Messaging proceeding with Generate Token. Now the generated access token is your permanent token assigned to your app that you need to copy and paste it under WhatsApp Business API details. For the callback URL, open another new tab and go to the make.powerapps.com homepage. Navigate to Solutions, look for WhatsApp for Dynamics, and then select Cloud Flows. Now select WhatsApp Business API. Here, hit the Edit icon select the first step labeled when a HTTP request is received. This HTTP post URL is your callback URL. Copy and paste it into the respected field. The final step is to save and validate the configuration. To do this, select the Save option and then click on Validate button. A green notification appears confirming the validation. To confirm that your callback URL is set up correctly with WhatsApp, return to the Meta tab, scroll down to the WhatsApp section and select Configuration. If you see the same callback URL you entered during the WhatsApp Business API setup here, it means the URL has been synced successfully. Congratulations, our WhatsApp Business API configuration has been completed. Now you can proceed with using WhatsApp for Dynamics. To know more about WhatsApp for Dynamics, check out our website or email us at crm at the rate